guys as much as anyone would not want to think about this whole asso ish that has been happening for a while now <laughs> somehow one day you will just find yourself thinking about it <laughs> So guys let's jump right into this video welcome 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 so yes today's video i'm just going to be ranting to you guys about this whole hassle strike except we are going to lie i know that it is very very tiring that we are all at home seated nobody knows what next nobody knows anything so just be doing a little background story so let's go so when I was in secondary school, I've always wanted to be this child that I wanted to graduate from school early, I wanted to, you know, graduate like 20, I wanted to work, go to law school, be working as a, as a lawyer. In fact, if you had me then, I also wanted to become an international lawyer. Like my dreams were, oh, I wanted to be a career person, like a full career woman. <laughs> Yes, I did not know that. So first, it's like Asu are waiting somewhere for me. So yes, that is it. So that happened, and I graduated from secondary school 15 years, six months. Yes, I know that you could have started calculating it. I graduated from secondary school 15 years, six months. I was very young, and I was so happy because it was going to make my dream of getting out of school early working early everything come through i gained admission like 15 years 10 10 15 years 10 months yes i'm going into the details because i just want to give you guys <laughs> 15 years 10 months and i entered oeu 16 years four months because we had to wait like six months at home so i entered oeu at 16 years four months and guys i'm not going to lie the, my from my 100 level to 300 level we didn't use up to three years six months it was fast it was very fast our vc at that time tried all his possible best to avoid anything called asu strike or anything once there's asu strike there's just a way he finds his way around it and definitely we are not going to go on strike but we're going to continue with academic session and guys 2020 came <laughs> covid came covid came and it was like covid was the beginning of everything covid came then asu strike started and then it was a blast blow. So we were on strike for nine months in ASU strike, but federal government ordered that school should resume around September. But because of ASU strike, my school where you could not resume and other federal schools. Because I remember that ASU called off strike like 23rd of December. You guys, for a girl that already planned out her life, that marks 21, I'm going to leave school and I am going to be a lawyer. I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Get married at 24 marks. Hey, hey, it was like the world was coming down, everything was crumbling, right? Of course, the old 2020, I was at home. Grateful to God, we resumed in February and I finished my 400 level at a stretch. No break. Grateful. I, I remember that I wrote my last paper, my last 400 level paper in November. You guys, next year is November. That is one year away from class because I did, when, even when my school did not go on strike, I did not, we were not doing anything because my department, the trial does start work on time, right? So before us, before they finally sent us home, I did not attend any class. I mean, any class as a final year, final year student. So yes, that happened and then I saw strike again and boom and I'm like, what exactly is happening? Because almost all my mates are out of school, like those that are not in, pre in federal school are out of school. My secondary school classmates, almost all of them are graduated. The rest of us that are still in school are in UI and OAU. <laughs> so the rest of them have graduated, seven already, most of them have even finished seven. And it's just crazy because you're like, are you the only one? Are you the only one? I mean, 2020 was like that. The goal of 2022 is already like a wasted year already too. And you're just like, what next? And I'm sure that this is the shoe that every federal university student is in right now. For those, for those people that 
don't have the like they're not opportunity to stay back in school to do one or two things for themselves they are definitely in their parents house I, and i love the fact that 70 percent of students affected by ASU strike now are definitely doing one or two things people are learning one or two things people are venturing into different things because i mean nobody can wait for federal government is it this same federal government that is making the um, educational system look this way that will now make you get job after school, limao for anybody waiting for that, <laughs> like big limao, right? So everybody's just trying to do one thing or the other just to distract themselves. I'm just going to say that everybody's just pretending to be cool with this whole last strike thing. Ask the majority of us, we just want to graduate. Imagine being in final year since November last year and I've not even started. It is just crazy. Sometimes you don't want to think about it, but I'm, I bet it that situations around you will definitely make you want to think about it. Guys, please ignore any background noise. I the plan I had to film or the plan I had did not work out. So I'm using my room and there's a poultry close to us. I'll try to avoid the noise from showing very well in the but if it's unavoidable, you guys we take it like that. <laughs> so yes, as I was saying. This old asset strike thing is draining. I mean, for a young girl that had vision, that wanted to be a career woman, if you ask me now, that do you still want to be that career woman you wanted to be back then? I'm just going to tell you, no. And that is just the truth. And I think my parents even know about it now that I don't think I'm interested in because it is not even encouraging. This educational system is not even encouraging that. It's not, it's not encouraging to just pursue that your dream of being a lawyer or doing this guys let me even bust your head i might not even be going to law school to 2025 because my seniors my immediate seniors are supposed to go this year and they cannot go because of asset strike so they will not be going till next year when after another set <sighs> that is just crazy so right now i'm not even i'll tell one of my friends that i'm not even I'm not pumped up about law school. I'm not pumped about law school. I don't even know if I'm going to go to law school in Nigeria, right? So that is just it. I remember, and sometimes it just looks like everybody is learning one thing or the other. Like me now, if I tell you guys the number of skills I've learned, <laughs> I just didn't learn now. It'd be like, see, I, I'm not even. I now to now monetize it has been a problem. I remember that I was ranting to one of my friends. Shout out to Wale. That recently, maybe yesterday or I can't remember that. I just learned digital marketing and more like I learned digital marketing like I have a certificate I took a proper course on digital marketing and I'm just there I, I'm always confused on how to monetize it how to go about it and it's just really crazy right because sometimes I see a job or oh, we want a content strategist we want a content this content that and in the requirement you see you must have a degree or you must have at least three years experience two years experience it's just really crazy right that sometimes i just want to be an happy girl and just leave but then it's more like i'm not getting it right right or i'm not i'm not i'm not in that place i'm supposed to be as i as i, I would have loved to be you guys it has not been easy i know i can relate to everybody everybody so i'm just going to say that if it looks if, it, if you can relate to this and it looks like you are not getting things right just relax take a deep breath no pressure eh no pressure no pressure don't come at yourself <laughs> i remember that i always say that oh i was going to get married max at 24 you people i'm going to be 23 when i'm graduating and <laughs> so let me just i'll remove my mind from early marriage like this because i don't want to say nigeria failed me but this country literally failed me but then what i just really used to like encourage myself is that so far i've not fallen out of god's plan for my life and i'm still intact and i'm just taking it a step at a time all this will just be part of the success story you know just different things to just encourage myself and not just feel so bad because if you look at situations around you see i even try to avoid anything as to strike the news recently because Sometimes it looks like you are going to resume. Sometimes it looks like there's no hope for resumption. And I'm sure that once we do resume before election, we are definitely not resuming it after election. And that's even more crazy, right? But I'm just here to say that every federal university student, I can feel your pain. We are in the same shoe. We are in the same shoe. <laughs> so, guys, this is just me ranting to you guys and just telling you. I know that I've been, I've gone, I've not dropped video in like three weeks now. Let's just be praying for ourselves and trying to hold up. So let's just be praying for ourselves and yeah, 
I'm good, I'm fine, and I'm back again to create content. I just said, let me just rant. I'm just filming in my room. Let me just rant and <laughs> life is not life is not this hard. <laughs> so guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you love this video, please comment, please share. You guys should like this video so that YouTube can take this video for other people to see. Thank you guys so much. I hope that one day I will graduate from school. Maybe next year, hopefully, because I am tired of being a student. I just want to pass this phase of my life, I tell you, and maybe just figure out the next step, right? So you guys will not be surprised when you see Nigerian students turn or Nigerian students, law students turn a full Nigerian YouTuber. Definitely I'll graduate though, but then I might just be taking YouTube as a full job. So I just want you guys to please subscribe, support me, drop a comment. All these comments they really go a long way for me. So thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you guys in my next video.